All right, Mr. Dagron, where are you? Over there, and it's night time. I should have probably slept. Um, last time I tried defeating a dragon at night time, it did not go well. I died. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. Do you like my pause for effect there? Look at these guys. They were just, they just hopped perfectly in sync. Uh, yeah, hope you are all doing fantastically well. I most certainly am. So I haven't actually done any more building since the last time. Um, and that's because I want to go on a little bit of an adventure today. Not a big adventure, just a little bit of an adventure. Uh, to start with, I'm going to head on over to the big old castle and I will see you guys there. Do I have... I do, I have one set of Chimera Wings, so I've just got to remember that I've actually got them. So yeah, I'm going to head on over to that big castle and I will see you guys there. So it took me a while, but I finally made it here because I kept getting lost. Oh, zero damage taken from that. Wow. From that slime and the full damage. Uh, but why am I here? Well, because I figured, actually, all this material here would actually be kind of cool to use in our base. And castle tile block. Ooh, yeah. So we can, uh, we can gather some of this up and use it to build up like these, these flooring blocks. It would just help diversify our town a little bit more. Something that I was definitely uh, wanting to do. So, yeah, I figured I would uh, I'd basically like farm this 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 place. Not all of it, but get some good stuff like this door. I don't have to make one now because I've got one. And like these barrels, kind of cool. Let's get them. And free pot definitely doesn't hurt. Don't want to take out the mason er or mason's bench there because we may need it. But yeah, all these cool stuff like decorations, we can uh, we can use them. This cool, like, lamp up, lamp up there, candle brum, whatever it's called, we can use that. These cool pillars, heck yeah, we can use these, you know. So definitely, you know, take advantage of what the game gives you because you can use this. And yeah, we are tearing apart, like, the last bastion of Cantlin, but the way I... The book is titled Passage to Tantagel, Volume 1. Would you like to read it? Yeah. Ah, the Cantlin Plains, the playground of my youth. Though I feared the remote regions of Cantlin had been laid to waste in the same way as the city, instead I find great a uh, great citadel in standing here. It would seem that in my absence, the people of the region used the last of their strength to build this bastion. They have sealed themselves within its walls to escape the encroaching horde of monsters. And yet, I cannot help but feel that there is something amiss about the people that live here. I tried to engage them in conversation, but they had merely stared at me with cold, dead eyes, and one of them merely made off with my provisions, or nearly made off with my provisions. Mayhap is the inevitable result of spending so long sealed within this grim fortress, fearing for their lives. While the people of the castle met me with a stony count uh, countenances, I guess, I did see among them a countenance that was stonier still, the sight of the great golem, Cantlin's protector, sitting in silence with its head drooped low, haunteth me to this day. O oh, my beloved Cantian, what hath become of thee? Though the men and women who dwell in this place were only uh, were once my fellow townspeople, I fear this is no place for me now. I will depart from this place forthwith, or forth, forthwith, and continue my travels ere the unthinkable should happen. So Reginald Augustus Grain's Cantlin Brigade of Guards. Interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, I completely forgot what I was talking about. But let's get, oh, Castle Wall Block. That's what I really want. Um, mainly because I just want a bit of diversity. And like, oh yes, this, this, this is a, uh, like, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed that I am, you know, busting apart this absolutely fantastic, like, decrepit castle. But, at the same time, you know, it's it's here, it's not going to, it's here for a reason. Once this chapter is over, we're probably never going to come back to Cantlin, so may as well uh, build as much as we can. Oh, and there's a fancy bed. I do believe, actually, that you can, you can make a, a really good room with this stuff, so uh, let's get all these. Dressing table, fine, that's mine now red carpet block you see that's what i was hoping that with all this stuff that we're getting we would unlock like more if that makes sense like i was hoping that um i would unlock the recipe for it or unlock like flooring blocks which would be fantastic you know um the flooring transforming block things that would be awesome anyway i think i'm gonna spend a little bit of time um busting up the castle not too much just basically going to add to its uh add to its brokenness um, and I will see you guys back in Cantlin. I'm not going to be doing any more building today, but I do have a little bit of a thing that I want to make. So I will see you guys back in Cantlin. All right, we are back. 
And I picked up a couple of things, so uh, I do want to try out some of these things. So first of all, I will uh, I'll put everything away. Um, I got quite a lot of stone bricks, but you know if I if I ever need any more, like I got a lot of those purple br bricks as well, which I think look really cool. If I ever need any more, I can go back. Like I only got six red carpets. It was a little bit sh uh, of a shame, but you know we can possibly use it in the royal chambers over here. Um, so first thing I want to try actually is I want to try uh, putting in this gigantic bed. So I think what I want to do um, is move the door over here uh, because we can. The private bedroom is destroyed. Oh no! Where am I going to sleep? Uh, it'll be fine, I'm sure. So let's just uh, do it a little bit like this. I don't know why I did it like that, but uh, there's a build an empty room. So yeah, first thing I want to do is. Wow, empty room is destroyed, because I got rid of the light, I think. Uh, is grab that fancy bed. Where was it? The king-sized bed. Do I even have enough room for it? Uh, oh yeah, it's only two by two. That should be fine. Uh, so I think I want it... Wow, this bed is still smaller than the couch. That's crazy. That's can only sleep inside a proper room. I'm not trying to sleep, I'm trying to open my items. There we go. Uh, and then one of those fancy lights. Actually... One of those chairs as well. Or should I get a comfy stool? I don't know. <laughs> uh, where was... Well, I always got a single t uh, pitch tiling. Again, I was hoping that by getting these, I could get the recipe to make them. But that's probably only for like the um, the creative version of the game, which is fine. Um, I'm looking for that light. Where is that light? Over here. Aha. The candle burn. Candle brum. Not candle burn. Okay, let's pop that up there. Empty room. Okay, so then I think I need a pod in the corner, which is a bit of a shame because I was going to put a chair there, but I guess we could put the chair there. It's kind of cool. And then pop the private sign uh, there. Master bedroom, yes. A fancy bed and a chair and a fancy light, so light, uh, uh, light source, that's the word. A boutique bed chamber just waiting to be given the personal touch. Oh yes, and guess what guys? No entry. <laughs> Daz's room only. Okay, yeah, this is great, fantastic. Look at how close we are to um to leveling up our town. I'm pretty sure if we put a couple more things in here, uh, we could make something fantastic. Or we we wouldn't be able to make something fantastic. We would have like um a level a level five town, which would be great. Alright, let's put these back away, sort those out. I've got a Chimera Wing with me because I'm going to go for another adventure. Uh, it's time to take on the third and final dragon in the Cantlin Plains. Um, pretty easy to find him. Uh, I went to the wrong place. <laughs> uh, I'm a dummy. Uh, so in order to find him, we need to go through the red teleportal. Not the red one. Yeah, the red teleportal for the desert. I don't know why I, w I went in through the green one. I think I just forgot the order they go in, but... Red is desert. All right, and like I said, the uh, the dragon is pretty easy to find. Uh, basically, all you gotta do is just head this way um, until you find him. Like, well, actually, he's more over that way, which makes sense. So just head basically straight uh, northwest. Yeah, northwest, and you'll basically run into him. So we'll go past like this little broken down house area. Uh, I think we go past. Hey, human, over here, go away. I think we'll go past the uh, the ghost of the barbecue guy. You know, the guy that gave us the brick barbecue. Yeah, we go past him. I uh, basically climb over there. Yeah, this is where the barbecue dude was. Because didn't we break down a tree that was here as well? I remember there being a tree here. Oh well. Keep on trucking. There's a little cave there. I can't remember if I made that cave or if that's just a natural cave. But Oh yeah, I made it. <laughs> There's a bit of um stuff in the bottom there. Anyway, over we go. Oh, can we actually get up here? I guess that's the thing. It doesn't look like you can go up here, but you can. I should have brought a block with me or something. Let's just grab grab a bit of sand. 99 of it should do. All right, pop it down. And then just uh, make our way over. Like so. Floating sand. It's like Minecraft. Why am I doing so many Minecraft references today? Oh, you know what? That'll do. And one more, and we should be able to get all the way... No, not quite all the way to the top. Like that. Okay, so we're up here now. Fantastic, right? And then all you have to do is just go... Wow! 
There's a big spire over there. Pretty neat. And then the dragon should be around here somewhere. I actually need to explore this area a little bit more because it looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool indeed. All right, Mr. Dagron, where are you? Over there. And it's night time. I should have probably slept. Um, last time I tried defeating a dragon at night time, it did not go well. I died. Insert clip here of me dying to dragon at night time. Wait, no. I never actually recorded that. I think I cut that out of the video. <laughs> Hello, dragon. All right. Same rule applies. He will breathe fire, which is then when you attack his foot. Then he will spin. Wait for him to breathe fire. All the blue jellies, all the blue slimes even, will sleep. So he'll breathe fire now. Oop. So attack his foot. Rinse and repeat. I mean, you get a good couple of hits on him before he, he'll spin. Oh, there we go. A critical hit there. 42 damage. Very good. Okay, and then he'll free fire. Ah, uh, Chimera. Thank you. Oh, it's not a Chimera. It's a wizard. A wizard hat thing. Okay. And, oh, he got me that time. You know what? Just... Oh, I was going to say just die, but... There we go. That's better. He's going to spin this time? No, he's going to free fire again because I was out of range. Okay, spin attack. Now free fire. Oh, 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 not quite yet. Thank you. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't get me. Okay, so he does kind of move. Again, you can cheese this fight if you just put some uh, spikes underneath him. I, also, I always seem to go uh, counterclockwise. I wonder why. I wonder if it's better to go clockwise. Whoop, ouch. That was not because I went clockwise, all right? There we go, dragon's dead. And for beating this third and final dragon, we get a dragon scale. Huh. I don't actually know what that's for. A protective pendant shaped from a serpent scale. Defense plus five. I mean, we may as well equip it. Yeah, there you guys go. That was the, the third and final dragon. So now, if I was correct, there was like a big spire somewhere, wasn't there? I want to go explore that real quick. Because it's been a while since we've done any exploration. Because we've literally just been doing, like, uh, building and... Oh, ow, ow, I fell. We've just been doing building and, like, decorating, so... Oh my goodness, let me jump up here, thank you. I think I was up here, and I saw the, sp the spire thing. It's difficult to see it th uh, in the darkness, but uh, there was just like a big tall pillar. Well, it's going to be daytime soon, so let's just... Yeah, because I was, I was looking at it from over there, and I was looking off this way. So, where was it? Oh well, let's just look for it and see if we can find it. If we get lost, we can just use the Chimera Wings to get back. Um, that also looks like it's glowing, doesn't it? Is it just copper? Oh, it's a chunk of ruby. Okay. Didn't get any recipes from doing that, though, so it's probably not used for anything. Oh, there's another wizard over there. I need to know what their actual name is, so if you know, please tell me so I can probably see your comment in about 30 days. Uh, okay, there's a little snor snooze bubble over there. Oh, it's the blue slime. That's fine. It was night time. Oh, it's daytime now, so we can happily look for that big spire. Um, which, I guess, if we go up this cliff here, we might get a good look at it. Uh, so I'll use my usual method of jumping around until I find a spot where I can get up. Which doesn't look like it's going to happen, so let's just pop a bit of sand down. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, oh, let's bust a block out here. Uh, and let's climb up this section, uh, like so, and oh, back a bit so we can get that one out. All right, and then just uh, climb up. There we go. Look at me climbing like a pro. All right, so we've reached, we've reached, we've reached the end area here. I could have sworn that in the distance I saw like a big pillar. That was, that was weird. Just got a couple of chimeras here. And that's it. Oh, I missed. Oh well, that's fine. Yeah, and I'm gonna gonna explore a little bit more because there may be something that I've missed still. Chimera die. One hit kill. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. No, I don't think there was. I mean, this area looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Pretty cool indeed. Um. Okay. So, I guess. Do I really call the episode quits here because it's. It's not exactly been long. I don't know. I did a lot of bust. Or it took a long while to break down that castle. So I don't know how much of this is actually going to end up in the video. 
Uh, however, I would like to see if I can find that spire, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I imagined it. Either that or I just saw it in the distance and it looked like something that it wasn't. But, oh well, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. Not, not too shabby, I don't think. I mean, it's been an interesting episode, nevertheless. So... Um, I think I am actually going to call it quits there, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Dragon Quest Builders. Hope you all enjoyed. We did a little bit of uh, clearing up before we carry on with the uh, the story, which is always good, especially story stuff. Story stuff we need to start doing. I mean, hey, we got a bunch of stuff which we can now build with, which is pretty neat. A bunch of iron in here, actually. That's, that's quite good. I might quickly dig this up before I head back to um, the town. Also, this is interesting. Oh, this bit here. This is where um, this is where Magnus was being held. Didn't realise there was like a shortcut there, but oh well. Uh, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. I'm actually gonna break out this area here as well. Wait, can I not? Can I not break these bricks? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. Oh, I probably need a better sledgehammer. That's why. Never mind. Thanks again, guys. See you all then. Bye-bye.